I met this girl recently. She was a gardener, and I was doing a bit of gardening, and she was a nice chicory. <clears throat> uh, anyway, I took her back to my place to smoke a bit of herbaceous border, you know, get her a bit hyacinth. While she was there, she got out my sweet William. Now, I don't have a forsynthia. It got parsnipped by a juniper when I was a child. So there she was with my bluebell, and the honey suckled. Which was nice. So I went down to her lily of the valley, fiddled with her clematis, parted her lobelia, and she said, don't teasel, tulip. <laughs> so I did. Remembering not to forget me not to put a foxglove on my dogwood, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to pollinate her and have to get marigold. <laughs> anyway, she starts to beat root, and I think, right, time to yuck her. So I got my rockery into a quince and I rode a dendron. <laughs> Halfway through, I'm thinking to myself, how about a bit of box hedging? A bit of repotting? Annual saxophrage. One up the aspidistra, if you like. I give that a go, she goes looping, jumps out of bed before I can cuckoo spit my snowdrops and accuses me of being sycamore. Well, I say, I don't want to see my grapefruit. I mean, I like you, but not allotment. 